This is a secure S-E-C-Q-U-R-E S-E-Q-U-R-E Secure Secure Whatever Spot welder This, this is it You don't need anything else Just this Now, oh, before I go This, the, right the, Oh, f <laughs> Before I go any further I have got one of their other ones Which is This one now, this uh, obviously has to be plugged into a battery and the LiPo battery that I've got is massive, you've got all this stuff here let's put that out of the way all this stuff here, that goes there and then this plugs into the front and that plugs into the front, you plug your battery into the back and all this gets all tangled up and God knows what so, in this box, in this case, carbon fibre. Well, it isn't, but it looks like it. We have a USB thing, that will become apparent in a minute. A power supply thing, that will become apparent in a minute. We have all the usual spot welding cables. Oh yeah, with the ends. Chunky, I like chunky uh, spot welding tips. The tiny ones just disappear as soon as you bloody do a spot weld on them. So we'll have a look at them. Bit of nickel to get you going. And that's a spot welder. I'm a bit, to be honest, I'm a bit apprehensive about this. I don't believe that it will work. You turn it on, you hold the enter button. I haven't used this yet, I've played around with it just to make sure it comes on. So we have the input, when you're charging it, that will go up, it will tell you how many amps you're actually charging into it and there's a cell voltage. The internal battery, it's got a 10,000 milliamp battery. Uh, it does tell you on there somewhere. Yeah, 10,000 milliamp. So, you've got manual or automatic. If you are manual, uh, you can plug the foot switch into it, the foot pedal into it there. Uh, your beep, which you've just heard, or you might not have done, but it's got a beep on it. Uh, temperature in degrees in Fahrenheit in degrees Fahrenheit in, de in degree oh f bollocks and shit the temperature is in degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit you don't switch it, it's both uh, the power is the amount of pulse width yes, 5 milliseconds and you can turn the LCD you can change it 180 degrees if you're using it that way or you know um, and the weld is just, a, I, th I presume that's just a weld count, but obviously I've not tried it yet. So, I'm going to plug this in and try it. Well, you don't have to plug it in, because that's it. I was just looking for the, the tightening thing. There isn't one. And there's a clamp in there, you just push it in. That makes sense, because when you're pushing it down, it will just tighten it. Wow! <laughs> Little things, you know. I'm going to cheat a bit. I'm going to plug my foot switch in. I know it does automatic, but I, I, I just prefer manual. When you're cutting nickel strips, don't just cut it and then weld it on. Flatten it, you lazy buggers. I've seen loads of people with bits sticking up everywhere. Just get the side of a scissor and just bloody flatten it for sake. Five milliseconds is probably not enough. If it is enough, I will be absolutely shocked. My um, massive battery uh, is about 7 milliseconds, so I doubt it very much if this is going to do a lot with 5 milliseconds. This is 0.2 mil nickel. Yeah, 5 is nowhere near enough. We'll do 10 milliseconds. It's welded, but it's still not strong enough. 20 milliseconds. Oh, it is. 40 milliseconds. 50 milliseconds. I'm trying to get it to a weld standard that I like, rather than, you know, what's just acceptable. 80 milliseconds. It's actually tarnishing that, so it's definitely going through. 
I know the current on this is going to be a hell of a lot lower than my battery because I mean that, that pushes out, I know, over a thousand amps if it needs to. It goes up to 99 milliseconds. That's, I mean, that's 0.2 mil nickel. Let's, let's try. I'm going to try theirs. This is going to be, what, 0.15 or 0.1 mil. Which, it might not be pure nickel. It might be nickel coated tin. We don't know yet. I'm going to leave it on 99 milliseconds. We'll see what it does. <laughs> You've got to test these things, ain't you? That is what I call a proper weld. A proper weld is where it penetrates through this and it penetrates into the battery to the point where it's just about to pop through the battery. Not this tiny little farty weld. That is a proper weld. 0.3 mil, which is what this is, which is ridiculously thick and completely overkill. Yes it does, but it's not a very good weld. It's, it's going to be 0.15 mil nickel that I've just used, which has got a, it's got a perfect weld on it. So you're alright with 0.15 mil nickel. 0.3 mil, sorry, yes, 0.3 mil it can't weld. But I mean, I'm impressed with that. I honestly didn't expect it to do 0.3 mil nickel, because it's not. <laughs> Unless there's some pixie dust somewhere inside here that I don't know about. I wouldn't expect it to do 0.3 mil nickel, but it's done quite well actually. It welds that stuff, no problem at all, and that's a good weld because it's indentated. You got a USB cable. This is a decent quality USB. You can tell because it doesn't just fold out. Now, obviously these are I don't know what they are. They're European. Don't care. They will fit into a UK plug directly. You just plug it in. If you don't believe me, tough, I don't care. For those wondering, it is only 4.2 volts, the output. Uh, that's impressive that they've managed to actually get a spot welder that runs at 4.2 volts. If you put your tongue on that terminal, it ain't going to hurt. You'll feel it, but it won't hurt. So don't do it, please. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave a link in the description. They are cheap. I'm going to see if I can get a, a discount code off them. Make it a bit cheaper. 4.2 volt spot welder, bloody hell. For what it is, that's bloody impressive to be honest.